Welcome. If you're looking to break through your limited beliefs, birth your purpose, and live a life beyond your wildest dreams, this podcast is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron. I'm a doctor of divinity, new thought minister, founder of Soul Society, TV host, global transformational speaker, and the author of the international best-selling book, Awakening. Soul Society is the number one spiritual community committed to empowerment, enlightenment, and entrepreneurship. We truly believe that when someone awakens, they have a gift and message to bring to the world. The intention of this podcast is to assist you in awakening to your divinity, discovering your life purpose, and manifesting your dreams. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and may you live your truth. Welcome to today to the daily prayer call, Daily Truth. Today is all about mastering your monkey mind. There's a saying in the Bible that says an idle mind is the devil's playground. And as metaphysicians, we don't believe in the devil. What we believe in is the misuse or inversion of universal law. So today we want to talk about how to master the monkey mind, how to direct intentionally your mind. So yesterday, a girlfriend called up and she began to talk about how how much of a rough time she's going through, how difficult this has been, and how much this entire last week has been really hard for her. She began to go into all the stories around what was going on for her, everything in her personal life, everything in her financial life, everything in her living situation. And she began to say how she was spiraling out of control. And I began to sit back and I, you know, really as a metaphysician, my job is to only have neutrality, to not judge things and just become actually fascinated by the use of mind and then basically be able to relate to how we teach our mind, how we teach this work. And so I began to go into a prayer meditation after and just began to, you know, think what is different this time? You know, 2008, I was definitely, my mind was not as strong. And I began to realize that this is the difference that it is the idle mind that's the devil's playground, right? Because we have to intentionally direct mind. In universal law, we know that we're connected individually, collectively, and cosmically. There is a race consciousness, and if we don't direct the mind, then it will go to default. The mind wants to solve a problem, so we have to give it a problem to solve. So it began to, you know, I began to question this years ago when I was also in Kundalini Yoga, and their belief is that you can never, ever stop the mind chatter. That's why they listen to mantras and chant mantras and they direct mind at all points in time. And I thought, well, that's cool, but that I don't believe that. I don't believe that because years before that, I had been doing such intense subconscious work and spiritual work that I remember the day that my mind chatter actually went away. I'll never forget it. And I was in doing deep, deep spiritual profound work. And I literally remember it was like, someone turned off a switch of the monkey chatter in my mind. And I went kind of like looked all around and went, this is weird. Like there was actual silence. And so I totally believe that it's possible to master the mind. I totally believe that we can master the monkey mind. It's said in the Buddhism tradition that there's like a bunch of drunken monkeys in our mind and that each and every one of us is our mastery to tame the monkeys in our mind. And I believe there's a time to go into silent meditation and allow the truth of the universe to come in and there's a time to direct the mind with focused attention, setting your intentions and getting real focused. Ernest Holmes said, who was the founder of Science Mind, he said, all law must be subjective. The soil knows how to take a seed and make a plant from it. It doesn't know whether you're making a tomato or a potato. It knows how to create without knowing what it creates. And this is the deal. The mind, the one mind, the universal mind does not know. It doesn't know if you're creating chaos or just allowing the mind chatter to come through and create more anxiety and more fear and more, you know, chaos. It doesn't know if you're directing it to create your dreams to come true. It doesn't know the difference. It just says, yes, that's all it does. But we know, and I H National Integral Science, um, National Integrated Health Sciences and things have even studied thousands of people, thousands of studies proving that meditation and mindfulness improves anxiety and sadness. And so I say right here, right now, there is a decision. There is a decision right now within you to say, I am going to direct my mind. I'm choosing right now powerfully to direct my mind every day in every way. 
So whether that be that you go, I'm intentionally going to allow myself to just experience the chaos for a moment, or I'm intentionally going to go into silent meditation right now and allow myself to go beyond the mind and just experience the thoughts going by like clouds and not entangling in them. Or I'm going to right now create, 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 and stay busy in things that I love to do that are creating and pivoting through this turmoil. And so today is your choice. Today you have a choice right now, right here. Rumi said, the quieter you become, the more you are able to hear. The quieter you become, the more able you are to hear. And isn't that the truth? As we go within and, and go to the silence, as we go in and experience divine, what happens is we call it the mental equivalent. We come back out into the world and we recognize everything feels quieter. Everything feels more focused. And so today as you go into whether you use silent meditation, mantras, affirmations, journaling, whatever it is to intentionally direct your mind, this is the choice. This is the powerful decision every day in every way. We will re-preach over and over and over again the four steps to awakening. One, which is waking up, becoming conscious of how you are using your mind. Are you using it to direct it in the monkey mind? Are you using it to direct it in intention, setting your day up for goodness? And then we reprogram. We take the time to reprogram our thoughts. And if our monkey mind chatters too much, it means that we have to get in and do the core work, the reprogramming and releasing the limiting beliefs and dealing with the emotional traumas. And then we align, we align with the universal law, we align with mother nature, we align, you can go outside and reset your mind today by taking a walk and getting external, seeing what's in front of you and spotting the things external to you, serving or doing something outside of just living in in your mind. And then lastly, we affirm every day in every way through our daily spiritual practice, through getting our meditations, our affirmations, our intuition, our visioning, all these things that help us direct our mind for good. And so in universal law, we teach there is a race consciousness. And right now, the race consciousness, the pandemic, the economical crisis, the race consciousness is pure anxiety. It is the pandemic is the race consciousness. And so if you want to move past this in extraordinary leveraging in your spiritual nature, You must move past race consciousness. You must turn off all the news that you're watching all day long that's consuming, consuming, consuming. You don't need to know all that information. You can have one source or one person that tells you if there's something that you need to know. Today, we're rising above the monkey mind. We're rising above the race consciousness into the one divine mind that has all pure potential. And as we direct that and go up to heaven, into that divine mind, and then we go back down into the earth, we put two feet on the ground and we get focused on the the vibration, vibration that there is only potential and infinite, infinite expressions of the one divine mind right here, right now, and it's you. And in this, you have one mind, your individual mind, and your individual use of the one grand mind. And so you get to use it to the extent that you expand your mind, to the extent you embody the truth, to the extent which you say, I decide right here and right now that these no drunken monkeys are going to take over my life. I'm sitting intentionally, clearing my mind, clearing my subconscious mind with breath, with movement, with putting on beautiful music, with setting your intention, doing whatever daily spiritual practice you need to do right here and right now. And so today I say yes. I say yes to the use of my mind for good. I say use to creating and pivoting and moving into a life beyond what even I can comprehend. But I know that my subconscious mind, the, the, the mind that is created infinitely, knows, my higher self knows exactly what's going on and it's working for me right now. It's working for you right now and living in faith, flowing in faith. I recognize this is the day to let go, to surrender and recognize you get to use your mind for good. And I say yes, I say yes, I say yes. As Rumi, as Ernest Holmes, as the great masters of minds, and I am so ready for more women to step up in the quotes. I look up quotes every day and it's a bunch of men. Women, step up. 
step up. We need your voice. We need your quotes. We need your books. We need every ounce of you to become a spiritual leader. I am so tired of the women always being the ones that complain. It's not that I'm saying this is the only way, but I'm telling you, I get on the phone and women tend to complain more than men and I am done. Step up as women. Step up. It's time for us to flow and know the truth of who we are in our elegance, is our grace, is our goddessness, is all the above. I say yes to you. I see you. I see you as the God that you already are, the divine that you already are rising and using your mind for good, knowing that you can overcome the problems with opportunities and direct your mind into the creative factor that you are. Rise, sister, rise. It is time today, right now, to say no more, no more morassing in the chaos and letting my mind rule me. I am the ruler and the queen of my mind today and forever. As together we say, and so it is. Thank you for tuning in Society and Dr. Aaron Podcast. If you've had a calling to be a spiritual leader or coach, you can go to society.com and check out our free training. If you've received value here, I would love it if you take a moment and give a five-star review. In exchange, I have a ton of free gifts for you. Grab your free awakening book, 40 guided meditations, and digital manifesting masterclass. I also have a free money meditation and worksheet for you so you can begin to break through your scarcity mindset and claim your birthright of prosperity. You can get all of your gifts and learn about our upcoming transformational events in my bio link in both Instagram and Facebook. That's under drerin.tv, which is D-R-E-R-I-N.tv. Also, I'd love to invite you into our free private community on Facebook under groups called Soul Society. That is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Soul Society. That's S-O-U-L-C-I-E-T-E. Have a divine day and may you live your truth.